Okay. Live. Just one second. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, we have Sargon and Josh here from Reunion, along with Sean, who you're going to see in about two seconds. Uh, we've been sitting here, kind of just talking about beer and how much we love it, and figured that, you know, we, instead of just sharing our opinions with ourselves, which we've been doing the last 40 days or however long it's been, we've come to you guys and share it with you. So, um, today we got Medusa Luminary, the can that we sell here at Reunion. From the guys from Medusa, obviously, it's a golden ale, 5.6%, and we were talking about how this is like the prototypical kind of beer to just drink if you want to drink from noon to night. There right. Well, you can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. Right? No. And so I had my first luminary at like 11 today, so I figured I'd just like <laughs> sort of start up in the morning. You started late. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, had, I had like one or two before that today. So. Okay. But uh. This beer is fantastic. Absolutely. Like we've been, like, deciding, like, all the things that we've always thought about, what, uh, like, like, a, one of these, uh, it's not really a lager, right? It's more of a, how would you describe this beer? Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's, a, it's an ale. So lager doesn't, lager doesn't mean light or dark. Lager is just how you make it, right? Right. Control temperature, chill, 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 um, chill. Uh, <laughs> chill fermented. Right. So it's an ale, but it's a lighter ale. It's you know, it's, it's a it's a crisp, lighter body, lower alcohol. Lower I don't I don't believe you. Well, I think we should try yeah. it. Definitely try it. <laughs> yes, Meredith. We know we're live. Don't worry, it's Meredith. We're, we're professionals, all right? So, you know, our plan to do this going forward is to kind of talk about everything we're going through in the restaurant and in life. Um, you know, we're, we're talking about reopening the restaurant at some point. We're talking about what does the menu look like? Are we the takeout business? Uh, we sell a lot of cans of beer and we sell a lot of bottles of wine, but not a lot of bar traffic, if any, for a long time. Um, how do we do social distancing? What kind of stuff are we going to do to let people back in and how are we going to control that? How do we bring our employees back? So we just, we've been talking about this stuff ad infinitum for the last 40 days because we're just stuck together on this restaurant. And, uh, you know, we want questions. We're going to open it up to questions at some point, maybe not this first time, but um, we like to do this more regularly, hear about topics you want to hear about. Um, you know, Josh's on the Board of Health. We're getting a lot of updates from the State Board of Health about what things are going to happen. Um, we're talking to all of our vendors and our customers. Josh and I have a business where we also sell wholesale baked goods, and that thing is changing right now because of how supermarkets are dealing with the food supply chain. Uh, lots of things that are affecting us that we're talking about constantly. Um, some states opening up already, what's Massachusetts going to do, but we also want it to be fun. So we're going to talk about beer and wine and cider and booze and food, of course. Yeah. You know, kind of get some ideas about what kind of things we're going to reopen with on our menu. So, um, but we picked Medusa today because old friends. What is your favorite thing time. about this beer right here? Because something sticks out right away. And for me, it's drinkability. I think I could have six of these and not blink an eye. And that doesn't say anything about my drinking. I think it no, says a lot about how it. good this if, beer is. Especially no if this beer is like, for me, if it's like in a cooler full of ice, mm -hmm. and it's just like I'm reaching in and grabbing it, like just to enjoy the summer, like whatever, like backyard barbecue sort of thing. This is like right down my alley. Like especially if it's like ice cold, grab yeah. it out of a cooler. Uh, I, I like it because it's it's. A more flavorful than a lot of beers in that category yeah. at ABV, so it's got a really uh, nice balance of flavor. It's crisp, easy to drink, like you said, sessionable. Love sessionable beers. Yep. Um, what is the ABV? I think it's 5.6%. 5. 5. So it's not, you know, it's not a lightweight, it's not a 4%, yeah. there's some of those out there. But it sits nice, you know, on a hot summer day, playing golf, whatever, you just, a day like today, it's nice out, it's 60 degrees plus, um, first time it has the snow in a week. In a so, week. We we're already getting questions on our uh, live feed over here. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, some. Oh, hi. Someone asked, "What good canned sours do we have?" So right now we have a beer from Nightmare called Ling Chi. Yep. Um, it's a sour. They're out of New York. Great sour. Has a lot of. It's like a lychee sour. They call it. A lot of Asian uh, ginger flavor to it. Um, I like it pretty good. And then what do all you mean, ginger flavor? So it has this real ginger upfront flavor when you take that first sip. 
like this is it's a, a, a sour. It's a sour. They call it Asiatic sour. Like I guess it comes from. Why would it have ginger in it? That's. Well, I mean, you can any, one, you can put anything in beer, right? You can spice, the spices or something. But ginger is like a little heat, very bright. Gives you a, um, mimic cinnamon on the tongue in some ways. Um, that's this one. Yeah, that's that one. This is. I don't know. One. Can, you, can you see that? Look, at, that looks like a Walking Dead. It uh, looks like an apocalyptic sour. It's pretty good. It's, it, it's a. That's what it's going to look I don't like. Know if in you guys can see something. that thing. That's pretty cool. So the beauty of all this too, yeah, we're right. showing off the beers, but. Um, and I know we're all wanting to know when we're going to be back open. I think that's the biggest uh, question we all have. You know, when, when does this all go away and when can we be back to normal? And I, I guess the most honest answer is we really don't know. I mean, we don't know. And when we do know, what, what does it look like? Yeah. Are we allowed to have 20 people in the restaurant? I mean, our capacity is, what, 156? Yep. There's no way we're opening that 156 seat capacity. Um, sure. Social distance, distancing alone, just if we have to divide the space up, brings it to probably 30 or 40 if we're lucky. Yep. And yeah. then who's going to come? Yeah. Right? So Atlanta opened on Friday and Monday, but a lot of places opened Friday. There were some articles on the news the past couple of days where uh, they're closing back down again. No one showed up. So bowling alleys, restaurants, a restaurant in Atlanta opened, uh, had no patrons. So they paid their staff, they cooked food, but they lost money this week. So you can tell people you're open, but who's gonna come? So we have to balance that, you know? So what does that look like? Um, takeout's been getting better and better, so people are adjusting to that. So I think we're thinking about how do we, when this first starts again, how do we just do a better job at takeout with maybe some social interaction? Yeah. Uh, and then it slowly shifts back to, I mean, we don't know, it could be 12 months, it could be 18 months, it could be 24 months before we're back at capacity. Yeah, I mean, you're we're already, right. we're already doing a lot of things. Yeah. to help with the carry out to keep it safe, right? Yep, yep, no one, we, we do a curbside or touchless pickup. We have, those of you that have been here know we have a glass encased foyer. Uh, we put tables out there. People can see their order through the window. We bring the bag out, set it on the table, and they can wait to leave, and then they can come in and grab it and go. Um, you know, we're not dealing with cash, because uh, well, cash is fabric and it, it holds the virus. Yeah. So it's, uh, you pay online, you can go online and order. You don't have to contact us in any way physically, so. And also, too, we're not sh trying to tease you guys about with the beer because now you can actually, <laughs> you can actually buy, buy the beer. Yeah. Well, well, that's well, the beauty of it. Yes. Like, so this is something that a lot of us have been like praying for for our whole lives. Let's get, let's order a burger and grab a, a beer to go. Now you can grab it. Everything we have, all of our beers and wines that we have, you're able to grab online. Yeah. Uh, you can just order them right through our, our online thing. But yeah. And I promise you guys, keep. You know, download Untapped, subscribe to Reunion, pay attention to what beers we're putting on because over the next couple of weeks we're going to have some uh, really fun stuff coming in. Yeah. So uh, I, I kind of got my, my groove back with that and trying to find out what, what beers I like and, and just getting back into the grind. Now that we can sell it legally and we can get it out these doors and into your hands, that's what we're trying to do. So pay attention to what we have, uh, go to Untapped, download it. Subscribe to Reunion Tap. Follow us. Follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere you can. And more importantly, buy our beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, we um, we've adjusted pricing too. You know, you, when you go into a restaurant, you do pay a premium for beer or wine. Everyone knows that. But all the liquor stores are still open, and you know this is just a convenience. You order food, you come get it. You can also get beer and wine, so you don't have to make the trip into the supermarket or into the liquor store. Um, it's getting better, but let's face it, supermarkets and stores are still not the best place where social distancing is being done correctly. Yep. And it is getting better, but as little as a week ago, you know, we hear rumors of people without masks, gloves, no antiseptic wipes or anything, just roaming those um, supermarkets and the Home Depots and Walmarts of the world. So if you want a glass of wine or a bottle of wine and you don't want to have to go into the store where there's 20 other people, you can get it with your meal, we'll put it out there, it's one trip, touchless, take it home. So there's a convenience factor there as well. Yep, absolutely. I was thinking tomorrow we should talk about some of our uh, our specialty cocktails. Like, give some like, here's how we make our specialty cocktails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some. We were joking about this the other day because we are allowed to sell mixers, right? So uh, good example of this: Arms the Abbey, friends of ours, great beer selection. They're doing their um, they're doing some of their mixes in jars, and you go home and you add the booze to it. And the one problem we have with all our signature cocktails is they're all booze. 
So what you'd be picking up from us would be like a, an ounce of club soda and a splash more. <laughs> so um, yeah, not gonna work. So that's not gonna work. Uh, but we will tell you how we make them. I mean, we do. Our, our bar manager uh, Mackenzie has done a great job coming up with great cocktails as does our staff. But we use so many things like uh, pear liqueur or um, different flavored vodka. So our drinks tend to be mixed liqueurs or liquors, and we can't pack pack those up. So, um, so but we'd be happy to teach you the recipe. We, we've been getting a good couple comments here, so I just want to address them. Uh, first, uh, someone said that you look like a bank robber, Josh. I, I tend to agree, but that is actually a good mask. I, me and Sean are not practicing uh, yeah, safe. Well, these well, guys, these guys have been wearing, together but we're since pretty the much married. We've been here, we've been here since, well, since two years ago. Um, but when this started, he and I have been together every single day since. Um, I have not seen anyone other than a few people that work in the restaurant that have been here. Uh, my wife and kids are home, uh, social distance as well. Being, so I'm not with them, so we're not, th this group has been tight. So we've made it through our time here. Obviously we're always at risk. People do eventually, we have deliveries still being made and stuff, but people have been wearing masks and gloves and when they come in, we step back and let them do their thing and leave. Uh, but that's our new reality, let's face it. We are going to have to figure out how to be around people in some manner yep. safely. Uh, we still don't know how this is transmitted. We're still not sure how long it hangs in the air or how long it lives on a surface. We start starting to get an idea for that. Um, we do know masks help, and we know when the public is allowed back in here, for sure, we will be having masks on. So when you guys come visit, we'll have masks on. But right now, there's no one coming in the restaurant. It's just a couple of the cooks that have been here since this started, and Sargon and I, so we are sick. You know, I'm sure when you're home quarantined, you're not wearing masks. I don't mean to interrupt like, you, but why are we... What, well, that's what, another sour. What are these? Oh, these, so are the sour. Sour. Yeah, these are the two What's sours. The sour? So this is Coronado Island Vibes, and this has been a staple here at Reunion for almost yes. uh, over a year now. Uh, they're out of California, uh, San Diego area, Coronado. Um, so that's an easy drinking, run-of-the-mill sour. That's if, yeah. uh, your beginner sour. Good as you sour, yeah. And um, we, we've sold through... Uh, hundreds of those cans. Yeah, and we have. Uh, we're actually almost finished out uh, with the first order that we had. So, uh, I would say if you enjoy the sour, want want the sour, I would come and pick some up because those are flying off, and I don't can, know how many more we have. Can left. we just go back to Luminary for one second? Absolutely. That stuff is so solid, right? Like, so these are yeah. some fantastic friends of ours over at Medusa Brewery. They're selling beer right now. You can go buy it. Sean and I were lucky enough to meet these guys about a year before they... I think it was a year before they actually opened the brewery. They called us up and said, hey, we want to sell pretzels in our brewery. And we went over and spent some time with them. We actually hung out in, my, in Keith's, Keith, all house. Keith's house. He kept going out to the garage and grabbing yeah, more guys. different cool beers. Hi, Keith. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. He, he had a <laughs> fridge full of beer in his garage and we drank a lot of beer and a, ate a lot of pretzels. Right, and, and uh, we were like, if this is what the pretzel business is like, then yeah. I am good. This yeah. is, uh, I, I this. found my, I found my home. And they but, have over the years become great friends. We see them at food festivals, beer festivals, meetings, uh, Mass Brewers Guild. Shout out to the Mass Brewers Guild. We we our members. Um, but the breweries were where we got our start. I mean, our first and best customers, and still a lot of our best customers, are breweries that sell our pretzels. Um, and Medusa has solidly sold our product since the day they opened, and they still crush it. Um, and we like to sell and drink their beer. Uh, they've got, you know, you, you guys know their beer, but Laser Cat's another huge one that they do a lot of canning of. Um, they're, it's fun because they mix it up, you know. Like when the whole East Coast IPA thing started, they didn't, they didn't go down that route. They continued to do their own thing for a while, which I thought was cool. Mm -hmm. Of course, they do East Coast um, New England IPAs as well, but, uh, but they were always like, they don't follow the trends, which is great. They make good beer. That's more important, I think. Um, so we, you know, I, I, so many people over here watching. So I want to just say hello. I don't want to ignore them because yeah, say hi, some hi. of them have good, good comments. Like uh, this man, Paul Carrion said, "I love the interiors of your restaurant," <laughs> and I would happen to agree with him. Yeah. Uh, I think he does. You know, uh, the interior is nice. Pretty good angle. Yeah. Right? yeah. Whoever designed it did a great <laughs> job. Eventually, we'll allow people back in here. Yeah, someone, someone will be able to see the inside of it eventually. And uh, someone else asked, is the cheese sauce available in bulk? Um, <laughs> not yet, but hopefully soon. All right. Well, guys, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. First one, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to try to do these once a day, maybe more. Um, it could be any time. You know, there is no such thing as a clock anymore. 
some nights we're up till three in the morning, other nights we go to bed at nine. It's, yeah. There's no clock. So you, who knows? You might get a, an alert at three in the morning that we're doing one of these. All I know is that I, 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 I spend a lot of time thinking about all the people that have worked in this restaurant over the past couple of years and all the people that are uh, out of work in the industry. In the industry and we're really thinking about you guys a yep. lot. I swear this is a huge part of our, our daily um, conversations. And hopefully we all sort of find a spot to bring this all back because obviously it's really important to us, but we know it's important to you guys. Um, you know, it's uh, absolutely it's going to be an interesting couple of months, but yep. I, I feel like we're really going to get through it. Honestly, we are so grateful for all the people who have ordered to go from us. Uh, it is people who have come through who have bought gift cards uh, and everyone who is just, just all the positivity that has been surrounding us during this awful time. Um, it really kept us motivated you know it, it I think this has taken a lot out of all of us and just the support and the overwhelming love we feel from everyone all our customers our friends our family yeah. it's been huge it's immense and I we cannot thank you guys enough for supporting and, and being there for us yeah thanks guys thanks, thanks guys you love you take care bye competitive bowling on TV maybe <laughs> <laughs>